You know, the, the, the real thing about AI, which I think why I've always called it more profound is, you know, self-improving technology, right? And, you know, uh, having watched AlphaGo, you know, start from scratch, not knowing how to play Go, and, you know, within a couple hours or four hours, be better than uh, a, a, a top level human players. And in eight hours, you know, no human can ever aspire to play against it, right? So, you know, and that's the essence of the technology, obviously, in, 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 a, in, a, in a deep way. So I think, look, I think there's so much ahead, uh, you know, on the opportunity side, you know, I, I'm blown away by the ability to discover new drugs, you know, completely uh, change how we treat diseases like cancer over time, et cetera, you know, the, the opportunity is there. Um, you know, I uh, the, the creative power which I talked about, which we're putting in everyone's hands, like the next generation of kids, everyone can program and will to, if you think of something, you can create it. I think, I, I don't think we have comprehended what that means, but that's going to be true. The part which the next phase of the shift, which is going to be really meaningful is when this translates into the physical world through robotics. Mm -hmm. Right. So that aha moment of robotics, I think when it happens, that's going to be the next big thing we will all uh, grapple with. Right. Today, they are all online and you're doing things with it. But, you know, one hand, you know, today I think of Waymo as a robot. Right. So we yeah. are running around, uh, uh, driving around a robot, but I'm talking uh, more uh, general purpose robot. And, you know, and, and when AI creates that magical moment with robotics, I think that'll be a big platform shift as well.